Welcome back, friends, and thank you for joining me today. And I am out in my husband's shop, but I just received an exciting package in the mail. I was contacted by a company. The company's name is Goloza. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they contacted me and asked me if I would be interested if they sent me a product for an honest review that I would give. So I said, sure, I love to do reviews. Love to sample new products, let, let people know what I think of them and how they work and if I would recommend them. So I just got this in the mail today. It was shipped out really quick, it only took a couple of days. Um, so let's get this opened up. open the box just because that is usually the hardest part of getting these packages open and doing these unboxings. But I have not opened anything else yet so you're going to learn with me on what we've got. Now they offered me two different products. I chose the wall clock. I figured that might be a good item to have. This looks nice. It's big. Now, like I said, the company is Goloza. It's G-O-L-O-Z-A. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm sorry if I am not. Um, but they sent me a digital wall clock. I'll show you back here all the different goodies that it comes with. It has all kinds of things. Um, it has a remote control, stopwatch, and countdown, date, temperature, humidity display. That is really nice. I love that. Dual alarms, so you can set two different alarms to go off at two different times. Auto dimming, it has 10 different light settings on it, so you can go from low to really bright. Um, weekend mode, so if you don't want to set your alarm, if you're using it for work, if you have the weekends off, you can <laughs> mark it so you do not want it to wake you up on those days. 10 levels of brightness and a DST switch. About this, and I looked it um, up on Amazon, I will have a link for this down below for Amazon. I read about it and I checked it out on Amazon to see how it worked and it looked really interesting. Okay, so here is the user's manual. I'm sure we're going to need that. It comes with these are some tacks you put in your wall to mount your clock comes with a USB cord that you would plug in, oh, got it backwards, plug that in, plug that into the clock, plug that side into the wall. Now I was reading um, you can plug it into the wall and you can also put a battery in it for a uh, battery backup in case your power goes off. So that would be really nice, you don't have to reset your clock on the power bank. And this is what really got me, it's remote control. <laughs> So this is really exciting. I've never had a clock with the remote control. So here is the remote. Nice, small, and compact. I'll try that out in a minute. And then it also comes with, this is to go with these tacks. This is a mounting strip, and I will show you how I use this when I mount it. I have the perfect place I'm going to put it. Um, it comes with the template, so you can just poke your hole right here. And right here, you can hang this up on your wall, maybe just a piece of tape. Hang it up on your wall so you know exactly where to put the holes. And these are just little bitty holes, so it's not going to do any damage to your walls. Okay, let's get the clock itself out. Packaging is very, very nice. This is a really nice sized clock. We'll have to plug this in, get it fired up, and see if we can get everything set on it. Close this box back up. Now, it said in the user's, or not in the user's manual, but online, um, that you could also set it on your counter if you did not want to hang it. It's nice and thick. You can see how thick that is. So you can also just set it on your counter. Maybe if you just want to set it on the counter in your kitchen or up on your desk. So you don't have to put any holes in your wall. You can just set it on your desk. And it stands up and it's pretty stable standing up. Now 
Now let's see, let's peel off this. Let's have a protective film on it. Let's go ahead and peel that off. Now I'm going to I'm going to do this cord. I'm going to plug it in. I forgot to bring a double A battery out here, but I believe it just said that was for backup power. But if you were to unplug it, it would run off that double A battery. So I will put one in it when I get in the house. We can get the cord unwrapped. There we go. Has a nice long cord. I'm not sure how long this cord is. I would have to look it up and see. But it is really long. I would I would say at least 10 foot cord, which is always good. Then you have your options of where you want to plug in. Plug that in right there. Okay, let's see. Let me assume the plug it is back here. Here is your your opening back here to put your battery in. And there's also set buttons back here if you do not want to use your controller. So it looks like this pops in here. Oh, there you go. Okay. And the cord goes down here. And it also has nice little grooves here where you can run your cord. Depends on where your plug-in is. If you're plugged in up here, if you're plugged in down here. Nice little different grooves on all four sides. So you can put your cord. Oh, there it is. It is turned on. Wow, that is nice and big. So if you have any elderly in your family that could use a nice big wall clock, this would be great. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm going to kind of put it in like a dining room between my kitchen and my living room because a lot of times I'm cooking and I'll set a timer um, for food that's cooking in the kitchen. And sometimes I don't hear that timer in my kitchen, but I'm going to put it between my kitchen and my living room. Um, so I can see the clock from a distance because this is nice and big. Um, it even has a date and time, which is very, very nice. I will have to change this because it is not eight o'clock. Um, has the temperature and the humidity. And then it also has your month and your year. So this has everything all wrapped into one. I love that it has the temperature and the humidity. Now this temperature is correct because I'm looking over here at my husband's temperature he has it's for outdoor indoor it says it's 35 degrees outside it says it's 76 outside this says 77 so i would have to say it's really accurate i mean there's only a one degree difference between the two but there is also a heater right here in the shop <laughs> so it's a little warmer over here but it's really accurate it is only a degree different than what my husband has hanging up over there okay so let's see if i can get this set You read the instructions. Now I'm going to learn this along with you, so <laughs> stick with me here. Let's see. Instructions look pretty good. It says everything we got in there. We got the remote, the plug, the cord, the template, and the mount. So we got everything in there that we need. Okay, it says instructions. It says clock settings. Press the set button. The options as follows. So let's see. The set button. Okay, so I was pushing away and I could not get the remote to work and I just figured out why. Nothing wrong with the remote. It was me. Um, there is a little piece of plastic here that you need to pull out. It is in the battery slot. I believe it's just to keep the battery from dying while it's sitting in the box which stops the connection so just pull that little clear piece i don't know if you can see that real well it is just a little clear piece of plastic pull that out and then it will work <laughs> okay so let's try this again we're gonna hit the power button which turns it off okay and then we're gonna hit the set button okay so we want 12 hour and it is very early in the morning here. Oh, and now it will shut off after a couple seconds if you do not push any buttons. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so don't push the number. Push the up and down buttons. Okay, it is... Let me hit the set button again. It is 5.36 in the morning. Like I said, it is very early. I actually got this in the mail yesterday. So I am doing a video. Okay, it is 2024 now. We're not 2023. I almost said okay. But <laughs> okay, let's set the month down here. It is... One twenty-one. Need those instructions. Okay, hit the set button again. It automatically picked up that it is Sunday, which is very nice. I like that. Okay, so we have it all set. So that was actually really easy. One twenty-one five thirty-six says it is 14% humidity in here, which is pretty accurate. I'm looking at my husband's thermometer over there on the wall. He says 12% and 76 degrees. This says 77 and 14. So it's very accurate within a degree or two. So I like the fact that it went ahead and knew that it was Sunday morning. So that was really nice and easy. But like I said, it has self-explanatory instructions. Very nice instructions. Okay, now there is also a brightness adjustment I want to try on here. It says press the brightness button to cycle through 10 different brightness levels you can choose from. So you can dim it or make it brighter. And this also has alarm settings, timers, stopwatch. It has daylight savings mode where you can turn it on if you have daylight savings in your area. Um, it has an alarm you can turn off. This has so many different functions. Very nice. I'm very, very impressed so far. Okay, let's see. Um, where were we at? I'm going to say for the brightness. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out which one is the brightness. Oh, okay. It shows you a little icon here. So we're going to... We go up and down. Yep. Okay, so you can see number one is the lowest. Number 10 is the highest. I'm actually going to turn off the lights in here. Show you how bright this is. There is one little itty bitty light back there. Let's push this again. So if you don't want it bright, bright, if you're going to go to sleep at night, you can turn the light down if you have it in your bedroom. If you just want to turn it down, look how low it goes. That's kind of an auxiliary, I'm assuming. And then you get number one, and you can make it a whole lot brighter. And number ten is very, very bright. <laughs> that is very impressive. So I'm going to leave it on number ten for right now. I'm just going to hit the set button. You can just leave it alone, I am assuming, too. There you go. And it will automatically go right back. Okay. So, so far, I think this is very impressive. Let me show you a close-up of it. See if you can see that better with the light off. Love how big this is. Um, I believe it was just short of 12 inches, just over 8 inches. So, it's 8 by 12, just under 9 by 12 so it is very very impressive i like how it's lightweight it doesn't weigh much at all i don't even know if this whole thing weighs a pound i mean it might weigh just over a pound but it is very lightweight you could use any kind of hanger to hang it on your wall it's not going to hurt your wall if you put holes in the wall but i am going to go in because i have the perfect spot that i am thinking of for this and i'm going to get this mounted and i will show you how easy it is to mount and show you what it looks like in the house so let's head on inside and if you want to check out this clock by Gozola, um, I will leave a link in the description with um, an Amazon link that you can go check it out for yourself if you care to purchase one. Um, I love it. I love how big it is. This, I mean, like I said, it would work great, especially if you have an elderly person in your, in your family that has some vision problems. This would be perfect for them. And 
I think it'd be good in a kid's bedroom, too. They know what the temperature is. They know what day it is, especially if you're trying to teach your kid what day of the week it is or how to tell time. So I think this would be really good, but I'm going to use it next to my kitchen because I'm going to try the timer for when I am baking because I do a lot of baking. So let's head inside and get this mounted. Okay, I just used two pieces of masking tape on either side to hold the template in place. And my husband just put both of the tacks in that came with it in the little position that you're supposed to put it in the X there. And now he's just going to hang it up on the wall. So that was pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to set a timer just for about 10 seconds just so we can watch it count down and we'll see what it sounds like when it does go off. should beep it says we'll see in two seconds there you go that is the timer it says it will beep for five seconds and then it goes back to the original clock mode so that works great so if you are cooking or need to set a timer for anything you can set your timer and it's pretty loud so you will definitely hear it well, my husband thought of a really good idea we are always losing the tv remote so he actually had some of these little, they're just sticky back, they're Velcro pieces. He put one on the back side of the remote and on the wall. So there's one there and just stuck one on the wall next to it. So now I can just hang up my remote right there. I know where my remote is at all times. So that's just a little tip if you have problems finding your remote like we do. So I just want to say a big thank you to Golazo for sending me this digital wall clock. I am very impressed and I would be happy to test any of your products <laughs> if they are all made as well as this one is. Um, like I said, it's lightweight. It seems to be made really well. It's really durable, made of good material. Um, I just like the look of it. I like the design of it. And you could put it anywhere in your house that you want. Like I said, you could put it in your living room. You could put it on your desk. Um, it would work great in a garage. Well, I am very impressed and I'm very happy with this wall clock. So I highly recommend it to anybody. And it's lightweight. You saw how quick it was to set up, um, to program it. The alarm is really, really loud. That was actually the timer that we had set, not the alarm. Um, but it was really loud. So I'll be able to hear it if I'm canning or baking and need a timer. Um, if I'm sitting in the living room and it's dark, I don't have to grab my phone to see what time it is. And you know, we all do that. <laughs> We're all guilty of grabbing our phone. Um, now I don't have to, I can just kind of glance over and I can always dim it if it's too bright. Um, it's easy to set up lightweight. What else can you ask for? Um, I definitely give it a five star review. It's nice and big. I love the size of it, especially if you have elderly, this would be a great present for them. So I highly recommend them. And if you would like to check them out, um, I will leave a link in the description for the Gazola. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is the digital wall clock. So I hope you get a chance to go check them out because I'm sure you will be as satisfied as I am. So Thanks everyone for watching and have a great day.